Hello and welcome to a new video here on this channel, Scotland and Bagpipes. Everything about Scotland. And today and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit and color grade your Scotland pictures high end. So before we jump into Lightroom, Lightroom Classic or even Photoshop Camera Raw, you can use all these three software things. It's almost quite exactly the same, coming to that later in a second. Before we do that, it's very important if you don't know already to set up your camera. Either I'm shooting on a Sony Alpha 7 III and my drone pictures, I take them with my DJI Mavic Classic. There's a video up there if you want to know exactly what drone I'm using. I set up the quality, the picture quality on raw. That's because you're taking just the information of the picture and you can get so much out of the picture instead of setting up a JPEG. So you can basically do almost anything with the picture afterwards. So that said, let's jump into Lightroom. So as I just said before, Lightroom, Lightroom Classic or even Photoshop Camera Raw is the plugin is basically exactly the same. If you look here, I've got open Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. We come into these parameters and options here on the, on the right hand side actually. Right now and you see light, color, effects, detail, optics and here these symbols also on the right hand side on this panel here and you can open up light and you've got exposure, contrast and everything and it's exactly if I swap now to Lightroom Classic, Adobe Lightroom Classic, it just looks slightly different. You've got this panel with all the settings and options up here and basic, it's called basic here, you get your exposure, your contrast and everything that I just showed you and it continues if you look down there, color mixer, color grading, as we've got it here on color, if you go to color, you got all your colors and the color mixer and your color grading is down here, you see color grading, it's basically exactly the same when it comes to developing pictures with the Adobe software programs. And yeah, I don't open up Photoshop right now because it's also the same. Right now, I wanna show you a little trick. I'm never using it, but maybe it's helpful for you. Here, when it says edit in Lightroom, you got auto. This picture here is, I shot it with my, I shot it with my drone and it's quite dark. It wasn't easy to get a great exposure. Maybe that was my fault, but we can change that in a second. But as you see, the dark, spots and areas are super dark and the sky is super bright. So if I just click or hit auto up here, look what it does to the picture. You could almost use it just like that. But we're gonna doing it manually today and right now. So we work through these options here and start with the first one and that is light. Gonna open up light. And if I scroll up, exposure. If I go up with the exposure, everything goes up. But I don't quite want that because I don't want the sky to even just get more and more blown out. So what I do is I go down with the highlights. And as you see, that's just great. The sky becomes almost perfect. And the shadows, that means the dark spots and areas, that's the next one here. I'm gonna drag that up and see what that does to the picture. It's almost that what the auto thing um, before I just did. So the whites I can go slightly to the left because that's the sky and the clouds as well. It's gonna see what that does and that's very good for me and I love it just like that. The blacks is also the dark things in the picture. If I go to the left it gets darker, the blacks and if I go to the right it's brighter. Just go slightly plus nine here to the right. If I go down I could do similar things to the curves here. These are the dark spots and these are the highlights. If I just drag this one here down, it gets more dark. And if I just drag it slightly up and I leave it like this, the dark spots, they get a little bit brighter. So we go down to the next one, which is color. Open up that one. The temperature, I can make it quite warm, as you see, and I can set up a cooler tone, even that's too far, but you see what you can get out of here. I wanna want to have a slightly warm touch to the picture. So I just drag it to the right hand side just like that and then you can just change some color bits. I always check what does it to the picture. Going to left, going to right, that's to green. I go plus three on the right hand side and I'm super happy with that. Sometimes I just instead of going up the saturation I go up with the vibrance. I'm gonna do that right now. 
just a little bit plus 13 that's it open up the color mixer and we've got if you click on that little arrow here saturation and luminance and of course hue and that's the, the the color tone gonna open up that hue thing and you see this green and yellow mixture that's the grass here if i change the yellow to the right it goes more green if i change it to the left it goes more like the red dark spot that i just love so in scotland pictures so i go almost all the way to the left with my yellows let's see what that does to the green color and see even more if i go here doesn't change a lot but just slightly there are greens in it here and I go here just to the left. Aqua that's the, the, the blue colors I don't want to really change them maybe I just want to get more saturation here in the blue areas so I go to saturation and drag the blue or even aqua slightly to the right and yeah I get more saturation you can just overdo it as you see and just slightly more blue the color grading i use sometimes it's down here if i open up that one here i can yeah drag the highlights to some certain color that's the sky for example you see how green the highlights become if i drag it up here i can drag it up to the warmer spots and what i do is i'm gonna change the the which one the mid tones just to a slightly warmer tone again only the mid tones and see what that does to the picture again. I get that yeah, almost signature look that I love so much in my pictures here. Yeah, that Kurang picture actually. And that's the Kurang needle. If you want to know where it is, Isle of Sky, Kurang, and the Kurang needle, you have to hike up there. So, yeah, what I love effects. Texture. If you go to the right, you see that comes really, really sharp. That's far too much. I go 13 up to the right. And with the clarity, it's almost similar. If you go to the right, see and look at that. It's not, not really nice. So you can go like this and that's too weak and it looks too wishy-washy. So I go slightly to the right, plus four. And I love it just like that. Dehaze, I don't know how to translate that. Usually I'm not using the English language because I'm from Austria, but I show you what it does. If you drag it to the right hand side, you get the, 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 the clouds a little clear, a little bit clearer and even if there was fog but if I drag it to the left it looks foggier and misty but I don't want that I drag also to the right and that makes the picture sharper again and plus six is great if there was something in the middle I would add a little vignette because it highlights the thing in the middle which there is a little person but I also want to see what's going on on the left side of the picture and the right hand side of the picture. So most of the time I use it but not right now so I'm gonna drag that back or if I double click all these things here it jumps back to zero. Just hit the little circle double click and it goes back. We don't want to add grain at all. Detail. Do I need to add the detail? No we did that already with the effects here. Don't need that, close that again. And then we have optics, but we don't need that. There's just one last thing that I want to do to this picture because the needle for me is just too dark. And now on the right hand side on this panel, something comes into play. It's the thing down here, masking. If I hit that one, I choose the radial gradients. And it's just you drag, you hit your mouse, and you drag some yes continue what's going on here so you can you can adjust that afterwards if you hit that little circles just around the needle and what it does i'll show you in a second it just chooses the area in the circle that's it a little bit more to the right that's great and now what we do we are gonna change here if I open up light on this the mask is open you know that circle is open the shadows and the blacks just a little bit to the right see how just almost perfectly I can lighten up that needle just remove some blacks and make it yes and what I want because that's almost the main actor beside the little person that's actually me I took the, the picture myself with my drone what I want to do is effects and I make it even sharper. So clarity to the right, let's say plus 17. Texture to the right, plus 10. 
dehaze a little bit and I'm super happy with the picture how it looks I love it and maybe I add go back to this on the right hand side to the normal settings here so we got that mask layer with the circle now applied and I go back to the, the effects and add a little vignette so it comes a little bit slightly darker see what that does it makes it just a little bit more appealing and basically that's it what you can do down here you can look how it looks looked before and what you can take out of a raw picture at the beginning of the video I said that I only shoot in raw and you, you couldn't do that with a JPEG file so see even if I did not expose perfectly the picture now is super super lovely and beautiful I love it so much and I think that's it for the video we can hit it one more time before and afterwards love it I love it so much so that's it for today and this video I hope you enjoyed the video maybe you learned something if you liked the video so just leave a comment or subscribe to the channel Scotland and bagpipes everything about Scotland and if you want more tutorials like this one here also write it down there in the comments that's it so see you in the next one and bye